Good evening, Michael Basin and crew. My name is James Bunch. I'm the great nephew of blues legend William Bunch, professionally known as Petey Weestraw, the devil's son-in-law. I'm excited about this opportunity to be a part of this program, and I really appreciate what you're doing. Here is my pitch to get part of the funding that you're going to make available for startup businesses like myself. My great uncle was a bluesman during the 1930s and 40s. He has a music catalog of 160 plus songs. You've been in the music business, I'm certain you could appreciate the hard work it took for him to produce that amount of uh, lyrics and write and play those songs. Currently I own the publishing rights of those songs. My pitch is this, I want to build a museum for Petey Weestraw in his hometown, in my hometown of Cotton Plain, Arkansas. Now how this museum will be profitable? Number one, last year Tom Foreman of CNN reported that $53 million is spent annually by blues fans from around the world, more specifically Europe. They travel up and down the Mississippi Delta Blues Trail, as well as now they come to Arkansas to go by the Sunnyboy Blues Society Museum and other interpretive markers that have been placed on the Arkansas Delta Music Trail. Recently, Petey Wheatstraw was given an interpretive marker. We celebrated this on June the 4th, 2011. In addition, which made our family very happy, the governor of Arkansas, Mike Beebe, gave us a proclamation which proclaimed June 4th as Petey Weestraw Day throughout the state of Arkansas. And he encouraged all our Kansans to celebrate his, his momentous occasion. Second thing, how this museum would be profitable. We would sell t-shirts, shot glasses, caps, and other items with the picture and insignia of William Bunch, Petey Weestraw. We believe that not only will we sell uh, items at, for fans who come through our door at the museum, but we'll also do this online. Number three, for years now, uh, Petey has not been recognized for his accomplishments in the blues genre. He's second to Bobby, I'm sorry, Robert Johnson. However, in all the writings that I've read, Robert Johnson attributes or Blues historians attribute some of Robert Johnson's success to Petey Weestraw because he copied Petey's style. One of my goals is to have my great uncle receive a Grammy Award for his contribution to the blues genre. Fourth thing, not only will we build a museum in his hometown, but we also will start the annual Petey Weestraw Blues Festival in Cottonfield, Arkansas. So, there are four items here that I think will help us be successful to have a money maker in regards to the Petey Weestraw business. Uh, annual Blues Festival, the uh, museum, selling t-shirts and other souvenirs of Petey Weestraw, and of course the Grammy Award we believe will help uh, spur on sales of his music, of which I'm in the process now of trying to redo. Thank you for this opportunity again to bring this pitch to you, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Take care and uh, Happy New Year.